So this is about healing journeys. Healing journeys, unfortunately, are not like other journeys. They're not linear. You're not going from A to B, or rather you are, but the A to B is a spiral. And I keep forgetting this. I thought I was done with the anger release and grief release, and that now that I'd got parenting down to a T, which is pretty much just talking to your inner child and making sure that they're okay and dealing with the trigger at child level, because whatever triggers you now around you is always linked to something much deeper that occurred to you in childhood, which is why it brings up such a big reaction. So I thought I was done with all that, but no. This month I've had no less than four triggers on the same thing, which definitely means I needed to look at it. Um, I thought I could just journal on it, think about it, but nothing beats having a good old cry, which I've just done, which is why I've got a bit of a blocked nose. <laughs> and I do feel better. I do feel better. And yeah, I just reminded, I just remembered that healing is a spiral. So every time you heal a wound, you'll come out of it stronger and less triggered by that particular wound. For example, I am not worthy or I am not good enough or if I'm vulnerable, I will die or something like that. I am not safe, anything like that. Some of the core wounds that we all share. You can heal that on one level, but then you will become a stronger, more whole, more centered person and then be able to deal with a deeper level of that same wound, which is why the triggers come up again. And you think, I've been through this. Why am I still being triggered by this? I've, I've done this. I, I don't feel that anymore. I don't feel I'm not enough. I don't feel I'm not worthy. I feel I'm the opposite. Da, da, da. But actually, you need to feel it on an even deeper level, which kind of sucks because it means you've got to go through the same thing over and over again. But each time you feel it, it gets less. The pain gets less. The feeling into it is less overwhelming. The first time you do it, it feels like you're, well, you're going to die. And second, third, fourth, whatever, feel less and less life or death until you get to a place where you can easily parent and tell your child that they're okay, that you're with them, your big self, that you're never going to let anyone else make them feel that way, and that you love them and lots of other people love them, and that you're there for them. Because the point is that when you're a little child, no one else is there for you. You are literally alone, or at least you feel alone. And you certainly can't deal with that big emotion at the time because you're not ready psychologically or emotionally. So this is why triggers come up in later life, because we are now emotionally and spiritually evolved enough to deal with those feelings. They're not going to kill us. And we have a another part of us that can observe us being overwhelmed by that feeling children can't do that and that's why it's so important to go back to the original feeling that you felt as a child because that feeling was never released and that just ends up as stuck energy and it was probably repressed when you were a child quite rightly it's healthy that's the only way you could you could survive to cope and if it doesn't come out it just ends up taking up more and more of your energy to keep it repressed and it's stuck and it's it's not good. So this video is not really about anything apart from to remind you that healing is a journey, that it's not a quick fix, and that however sorted people look on the outside, they're often dealing with a lot of shit on the inside. And if they're looking sorted at one particular moment, it doesn't mean that they weren't having a cry yesterday. So I'm here to tell you that I've just done another layer of my wound. This time it was not feeling enough um, I'll, send, I'll say more in another video about my shaved, shaved side of head, which is still shaved, but I'm kind of growing it out. But I had a bit of a realisation about what that meant to me. So I'll share that in my next video. But for now, if anyone's dealing with any wounds, keep going. You know that it'll get easier to deal with every time you deal with it. And having a good cry and having a good journal. I've already said how I love my journal. Um, journaling out the feelings, writing them down is such a help. And then trying to go there, own that feeling, cry, feel awful. Then write down some affirmations, write how amazing you are, that you're not that powerless, helpless, rubbish person anymore, that you are strong, that you are light, that you are love, that you're amazing, that you're special just as you are.